So I thought I'd share another beautiful piece out of Hebrew for you and understanding Hebrew deeper. So I want to look at the name Adam in Hebrew. Now, if you've got your Bible with you and you turn with me to Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, and it says the following. And Yahweh Elohim formed Adam of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and Adam became a living being. Now, it might sound slightly different to what you're reading in your translation because I'm substituting the exact Hebrew in those contexts that I think should be heard by you in this situation. So when we hear the name Adam, the first thing we think of evidently is the fact that we were formed from earth. And some sources in Hebrew culture and scholars will tell you red earth specifically, a ruddy earth almost like a clay situation and we can delve into that much deeper in another video and how that ties through to biology which is really interesting but in the initial sense of the word Adam it is his name and it is him being formed from the dust of the earth now the next thing you need to know is that Adam is made up of three Hebrew letters Aleph, Dalet, and Mem, Adam. And it can also be translated quite simply as human. A human. Now come some of the beautiful things that I want to show you with this word. Now you'll see here the Aleph is almost grayed away and turning invisible. There's a reason for that because I want to show you if you remove the Aleph here, you're left with another word, Dam. And this word represents a completely different thing in Hebrew. So Adam, which is a word, if you split away the first letter, Aleph, because you read Hebrew from right to left, then you are left with Dam. Now you may ask, obviously, what is Dam? Dam is blood. Adam, and take the Aleph out, you're left with Dam. Dam is blood. Now, there's many ways you can look at this, but there's actually a bigger revelation I'll reveal right at the end. But for now, man, human, and we're full of life-giving blood. And blood is inside the name. Dam. And then, as if that's not enough, speaking about blood, Dam, you can have a letter value in Hebrew. Every single letter has a numerical value. Dalet has a numerical value of 4. And Mem has a numerical value of 40. So 44. Two fours, which is an emphasis of 4. And this is fitting because there are exactly 4 types of blood. A, B... A, B, and O. So this is the name in English, Adam. This is ancient Hebrew, right to left, Adam. And again, they have a letter value here of 40, 4, and Aleph is always 1. So altogether, 45. The number 45 in Hebrew, in the Bible, is associated with restoration, renewal, re-establishment of God's people. So the name Adam and 45 in its numerical value, restoration and renewal, considering the fall of sin for mankind and the fact that God would have to come and bring restoration and renewal to us to re-establish God's people even that is within the numerical value of the name Adam okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break this down to individual letters again coming back to Aleph Aleph generally and always in Hebrew and in ancient Hebrew and in the word of God represents God 
Aleph. The numerical value is one. Behold, we serve one God. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. One. He is the first and he is the last. The first letter of the Hebrew alphabet and the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. The Aleph representative of a pictogram that looks like an ox for strength and power, dominion, authority. He represents God. Aleph. The Dalet represents a door, a door and a path. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If you open for me, I'll come in. God represents a door. He's opening a door. We can go in. He's knocking at that door. Dalet is a door, an entrance to a path. Mem, the final letter in the word Adam, also absolutely beautiful, can represent Mayim, which is waters in life, abundant seas, symbolizing those waters. It can also refer to childbirth. So waters also represent mankind, increasing the waters. So the waters, the Mem, and childbirth in the Mem, at the same time. Mem also represents Messiah, Mashiach, Yeshua, HaMashiach, Jesus, the Messiah, the Mem in the name of Adam, pointing to Messiah, Mashiach. So it brings us full circle back to the name Adam. Hebrew word, meaning red or man or red earth, human. The words for ground, Adama, blood, dumb, in the word by removing the Aleph. Adam is the name of the first human being formed from the dust of the ground. The number 45 we've referred to and seen that it's associated with restoration, renewal and reestablishment of God's people. Now, if you take this finally now, Aleph representing God has made a door in the clay, in the ground, through which Messiah will come and fix everything, restore, reestablish God's people, bring renewal and restoration. How will he do such a thing? Through his blood, dumb, will he accomplish this task as he comes on the waters, the water walker, walking on the waters through all this turbulence and chaos of the men of mankind through the generations. God in the very first forming of Adam has already put a plan in place. He made a door for Messiah to come and bring restoration, renewal, and re-establish God's people through his blood. How amazing is Hebrew and the word of God. And how incredible and alive is the word of God. With all these layers just waiting to be discovered. We serve an incredible, exciting, amazing God. Who has so many things to teach you. I hope. This excited you and gave you a deeper thirst to delve and dive into the word of God, the source of all life. Shalom.